Hello, and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Activity and Mysterious Stories. Let me give you a quick preview of uh, what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is this strange octopus like uh, creature here that um, it's just a quick little gif that shows it like blowing up into this uh, different looking creature. And then uh, let's see, got something else from Reddit here. It's a video of some guy who just happens to catch a you are a um, meteor exploding over a beach in Australia. Um, this is a very interesting video. You know, I can't say that, you know whether it's like real or not, or if it's been photoshopped. But this isn't the first video that I've seen like this. But it shows this meteor here coming in, and then you know you see this little object here shoot off of it and take off the, in the other direction. And like I said, this isn't the uh, first. I've seen other videos like this, but, you know, don't know if it's necessarily real or not. Uh, this here is a story about uh, some guy who claims a blonde alien told this uh, Brazilian man secrets of her civilization in 1979. I'll read a couple paragraphs of that. And then this video, I mean, it's a long two-hour video. I'm, you know, definitely not going to uh, watch the whole thing here, but... I watched this whole thing this afternoon, and man, this guy, Rich Hoffman, I looked him up here real quick. He has a BA in Organizational Communication from Wright State University, but you know, whatever. Down here it says he has over 54 years experience in investigations and research of UFO subject. This guy says that uh, when he was like 12 or 13 years old, he was like going around giving lectures about UFOs. Um, but um, yeah, this is this um, long lecture that he gives. And, you know, he goes into talking about all, um, you know, all of the videos that were released by the military, but really uh, gives you a lot of um, interesting information. Oh yeah, and then he also talks about, um, you know, besides the, the USS Nimitz and um, the other encounters that the military has released, this is one that they don't talk about. But um, he mentions it's the USS Boxer had a, uh, an, a, an event or a UFO interaction. And then the last is this um, video, it's a YouTube video of um, US military leaked UFO FLIR footage. Now again, you know, I don't know how credible this footage is. Um, I'll, you know, I'll show it to you and or show you some of it and then you know i mean if people you, you can tell me I, I, yeah i don't know enough about this to say for sure whether it's real or not but it definitely looks authentic okay so let's uh let's go to this first one here now like i said it's just a simple gif but when you go to it oh yeah it's, it, you go to image check this out watch this I mean, it, amazing how that thing can just completely change its body structure. I wonder if it does that to eat or, or to catch something. Like, what's the purpose of that? like a cross between an octopus and a jellyfish. Well, that's that. Um, let's see. Let's check out this one here. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's also we'll listen to it. Go widescreen. Start at the beginning. One more time. Oh, 
Wow, you know what? There was a, uh, a meteor that also passed like super close last night. Um, so I wonder if this was like one of the, the strays coming off of that uh, meteor. You know, and we also actually, I, I made a video about um, several other meteors that supposedly went by. Okay, now this one, I'm not too sure when it act took, actually, oh, here it is. It took place on December 17th, 2017 in California. It says, Meteorite releases UFO orb which flies away and upwards. That title really does capture the whole feeling. The literal and only way to explain what is happening in the video. Meteorite releases UFO orb which flies away and upwards. Okay, let's take a look at this video here. Let's go white. Let's go past all that here. It's Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Wow, look at that thing. Now, you know, I'm pretty sure that th there are other videos that show something. Let's watch that again one more time. Right, let me go to the beginning here. This meteor look at that thing. Did that thing come out of the meteor or was it there? I don't know, you know, there's a, um, when there was a meteor that um, hit over Russia and there's a video of something actually um, shooting at the meteor and making it break up. That was pretty wild. All right, let's see. Now, this is just a, I don't think it's a, oh yeah, there is a video down here, but it's probably in Portuguese. Let me just read what it says here. Blonde alien told Brazilian man secrets of her civilization in 1979. On May 16th, 1979, Arlindo Gabriel dos Santos witnessed the landing of three UFOs and the huge manned spacecraft in Benpendi, Brazil. Benpendi, Brazil. It was considered the most impressive UFO encounter in the history of UFO sightings in Brazil. According to Santos, the bigger UFO was about 10 to 12 meters in diameter and 8 meters high, in addition to an unusual spike that increased it by another 5 meters. When the first UFO, which was cylindrical in shape, arrived, Santos managed to take photos of the object, but when the other two UFOs landed near the first one, he got frightened and tried to escape from the landing place. On his run, he was stopped by some kind of light beam from the alien ship and saw two aliens coming out of it. They wore identical clothes and transparent helmets. The aliens were about 1.5 meters high but looked very strong. They had big eyes, short standing hair, wide but flat noses, round faces, thin lips, and small eyes. Santos began screaming and begging them to let him go, but the aliens tried to calm him down and told him they were not going to harm him. Blonde alien illustration. So this is what he says they look like. After that, the aliens took Santos to their ship where he saw a blonde woman with no neck and telephone receivers on her ears. He also met some other aliens and they were very similar to humans. Aliens gave him some information about the sun, moon, earth, and the alien civilization on the TV-like screen. Santos spent about two hours on the alien ship, and after that, he returned to his home, suffering from severe nausea and dizziness. UFO investigators Ubirahara Rodriguez was leading the case of Santos when he asked about the camera that Santos has used to take the UFO photos. It turned out the camera was burnt. Anyway, Santos had a video recording and he gave the copy to Rodriguez. After analyzing the video, he and another UFO research group went to search the area where Santos had seen UFOs. Rodriguez found Santos' big bag, which he had lost during the incident. The bag was chewed by some animals and also had some strange printing like hieroglyphics, which had not been there before. Those hieroglyphics were never decoded. Santos also said that white spots on his body that used to itch in his childhood suddenly disappeared after his encounter with aliens. The retired judge of Bayampendi, Antonio Jose 
Lavehangen said, I have known Arlindo and his family for many years. They are good people. This is going to be in Portuguese, I bet. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, unless you speak Portuguese, we're not going to be able to understand what this is about. So, anyways, um, I'll leave a link and uh, you can check it out yourself. Okay, so now this is the video by this Rich Hoffman guy. And, uh, you know, you see he runs this, um, or he's a part of this scientific coalition for UAP studies, scientific exploration of anomalous aerospace phenomenon. Yeah, he's a big UFO guy. So, um, yeah, I guess, you know, I don't want to... He was just saying, well, it could be this, it could be, it could be a swamp gas, and all the news media jumped up, ran out of the room, and oh, Air Force calls it swamp gas, you know. And so, anyway, he uh, regretted having to said that even then. Uh, project identification was held in Piedmont, Missouri. That was a scientist that was studying a phenomena, which, by the way, I'm studying as well. But in 1973, in Piedmont, Missouri, they had these like lights balls of light that were moving around the skies that were moving around and didn't know what they were but yeah this guy has a lot of you know great stories uh, lots of information I yeah, definitely um, you know like I, I've been following the UFO thing for a long time but this guy yeah he knew a lot more than I did so I'll leave a link to this video definitely watch it when you have the time and oh yeah and this actually you know he he in in this video you know he 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 mentions um the three ufo videos that um that were released by by the military but he also talks about this one here the boxer ufo event in 1998 there have been rumors circulating that the USS Boxer had a UFO encounter in 1998. The chatter has gone up a notch since the SCU's Rich Hoffman discussed them during a previous presentation that is now circulating on Twitter. Silverrecord.com was able to speak to a source that believes the USS Boxer event occurred. Rich Hoffman also mentioned the USS Bainbridge having an event in 2017. Silverrecord.com has not been able to confirm that event. However, Rich Hoffman is a credible person and the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies is a trusted group. The USS Boxer UFO event occurred in 1998. It was off the coast of San Diego and it was very similar uh, events to the famous Nimitz Tic Tac with multiple witnesses. Silverrecord.com has not been able to yet confirm if the UFOs were Tic Tac shaped. However, if when more information becomes available, this blog will be updated. So, of course, I will leave a link to um, this page in the description. And now this last video here. Now he says, yeah, United States military recorded by FLIR camera and uploaded it to the network. Let's see. It was leaked and sent to the Pentagon and they, got, they denied knowing anything about it. That's it, 52 seconds. At 138, the U.S. was clear to fire at unknown object. Oh yeah, the UFOs were completely unaffected by the missiles. Yeah, in the video, you'll see something or a missile fire at these things. Let me just get to where they, here we go. Let me, let me actually, let me, we'll, we'll, we'll lead up. I don't want to jump ahead too far, but yeah, they, there they are. This is when they first look. And then remember, um, you can't see this with, with the naked eye. They could only see this using this, uh, this FLIR monitor. And this is in Afghanistan. And, you know, like I've I've said many times, I said in my other videos, um, there are um, there are people have witnessed UFOs at wars all throughout history. Um, yeah, there's a lot of documents throughout history of people 
talking about, oh yeah, did you see that? Wow, did, wow, did you see that? That was a missile they just fired at that thing. Let me go back. Let me go back and watch that again. The right of this game was just some kind of artillery missile striking and not affecting. Bang. Well, it looked like it hit both of them. I wonder what this stuff is that's leaking off of it or coming off of it. And you know, there there are other videos of um, strange objects over Mexico also doing something similar. Well, this is a nine over nine minute video. Um, you know, eventually these things, I think they just go down lower on the ground or something. Let's see what happens. Let me fast forward a little. It looks like they're just, they're descending. Looks like this happened in 2011, 5 3 2011. You know, this says 2130, which I think is like what? 1030? 930? Or they just disappeared. But here, up here, it says day. Unless, you know, unless they just didn't get, you know, I mean, that's, yeah, there's no telling her if, if that's right or wrong, if that time is actually accurate. But um, I think that's it. We don't know. I don't think they, these things come back. Let me see. Go forward. Oh, yeah, here. Check them out. They do come back. Wow, is that is that what they actually look like, or is that like some kind of out of focus view? Maybe is it, or yeah, that's what they actually look like. Wow, that's day. Wow, maybe oh, that's at nighttime. That's this is actual. Well, you can see these things at night. I believe this is um, this is with the naked eye. I don't think this is with any kind of filter on it. But anyways, I can't play this whole video or I'll get hit with a um, copyright violation. But of course, I will leave the link in the description so that you can enjoy this entire video yourself. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.